Alright. So, dude, don't start that crap. Just for a minute. So. Settle down. So, every doorway. You want calm and noisy. Alright. Kind of jumping. You wait. She calms down. You can move. She goes settle down. You can reward that. And it's every time. Wait till she calms down. Good. Okay. All right, and over here, we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you. Look, still crazy. Gotta settle down. Oh, the crazy. Gotta settle down. Just shut up. All right. You're gonna get it to a spot. You want it to be a uh, not arbitrary. So I have this rug here, right? You can put a mat or something. I can't remember, I think your hallway is straight. But if it's just an arbitrary spot, it's harder on them. So you get them to sit. You gotta open every time she gets up when you reach for the door. If she skews forward, you just walk back. Now some people will do the sit stay here. I usually don't. I'll just do the sit. So if it messes up the implied phase, <coughs> not as big a deal to me. So she's a good girl. You can reward that if you want. Because she's looking at you. Every time she gets up. Huh? You got her over here. We'll take that. <clears throat> right? So the more you reward, the more you're going to get. A little bit of leash pressure. Okay. All right. And right here. What I do in this hallway is she gets there and she turns around, I reward her. Okay? Then you work up to this one to being a corrective, right? So you get her in a sit. Good. Okay? And you correct her. Correct her. Good. Now she actually went out really good, but I just wanted to show you. All right? So you can get her in a sit. Good. Okay. Good. All right. So the idea behind this is she's got to get right there and turn around and look without having to hit the leash pressure. Okay. All right. Good. Right, so this is the same thing as when you're trying to teach to yield to the least pressure. I want her to go out two steps, turn around and look. Okay. Good, very nice. Right, so now you can go. All right, so that's one part of it. The next part of it is this. Ready, come on, sit, and then you want to be able to walk out the door, come back and reward her. You can show her stay. Now, if she breaks, you're going to step back, facial pressure. This is allowing you to go out without her being able to come out. Back her up all the way. Good. Right. And she, so she stepped forward because I stuck my hand in my pocket. I want her back, so I'm coming back to reward her. Then, so that's one, that's that's the next step, right? So that's you being, and the leash is on her, so if she tries to run past, you're stepping on the leash. All right, you're going to go out. All right. Then there's a, 
Did I choose this to the Yeah, you can see, right? So then there's another one. Now, I've, I've tried to get people with puppies to do this from the start. It's kind of fun, but people don't do it, right? So you're going to come to the door. You can, This is like the recall game. And you're going to toss food behind her, right? When she comes forward, she has to stop that. Oh, good. If she stops at that spot, you, you mark and reward, right? And you come back, food behind, right? She stops at the spot. Good. All right. Mark and reward. All right. Back her up a little. Put the food back. Good. So, and I kind of messed this up. If she comes past, if she throws the food behind. If she comes past the spot, you just keep throwing the food behind her. All right. Good girl. All right. So you're rewarding in this place. You're backing her up there. All right? And then the idea is you can come farther and farther out the door. Did she not get it? All right, let's see where she goes. All right, so she went a little past. You would throw the food back. And the idea is, the idea is she's got to keep going back to get the food. Right? So she's going to start stopping. You got to do it as, oh, good girl. You got to do it. Pretty close to as soon as she steps past that spot. All right? Good. That's a kind of fun thing. Stand there and use our food. I usually just do the spatial pressure part and reward in place. Um, but for really bolting out the door, you use that correctly. Let her go ahead and goodbye. She's going to hit that correction. And she's going to want to avoid that. And she's going to start looking back just a couple steps out. That's what you want. Because at that point, you'll be able to call her back. Once she gets out into the next house, then it gets harder, right? Until we get her recall like super, super good. All right. You ready? Let's go. What we got to do? Heal.